Hello guys. So in this session, we are going to learn how to install GitLab Learner on Ubuntu 24.04 LTS. So let's start. So first of all, to install GitLab Learner, so the prerequisite is we need a basic knowledge about AWS. So that's why here we need a, a Ubuntu instance. So as you can see here, I have successfully launched my Ubuntu instance and I have successfully connected to my terminal. As you can see, welcome to Ubuntu 24.04 LTS. And the second prerequisite is we need a GitLab account, right? And we need a GitLab project. So as you can see, I have this my GitLab account and I have successfully created my project with the name sample, okay? So we need this prerequisite, we need a instance, Ubuntu instance, as well as we need a basic knowledge of GitLab and we need a GitLab account as well as GitLab project, okay? Now, Let's start to install GitLab Runner on Ubuntu 24.04 LTS. Okay, so first of all, as you can see here, I have successfully connected to my terminal. You can see, welcome to Ubuntu 24.04 LTS. Okay, so now let's start to install GitLab Runner on Ubuntu. So the first step is we need to add the official GitLab repository. Okay. So first add the official GitLab repository using below command. So to check latest GitLab repository, visit the official GitLab runner page. Okay. So I'm going to add this official GitLab repository using this curl command. So let's paste here. As you can see, it's running apt update. So it takes few seconds to get update. So as you can see, the repository is set up and you can now install packages. Okay, it's done. Now let me clear screen first. Then after that, the next step is let's install the GitLab runner on Ubuntu. Okay, so here after completing the previous steps command, our Ubuntu system will have official runner repository and it will also run the system package command to refresh the repository package list and now they use the apt package manager along with this package name. Okay. Now let's install the GitLab runner using this following command. So the command is sudo apt-get install GitLab runner. So let's install this GitLab runner. So as you can see, it's installing GitLab runner. You can see here the following new packages will be installed GitLab runner. Now it's unpacking GitLab runner. So it's almost done. As you can see, it's done. We have successfully installed GitLab Runner. Okay, so let's clear the screen. Okay, so we have successfully installed GitLab Runner. Now, after that, if you want to use this below command to install specific version, okay, if you want to install specific version of GitLab runner on this Ubuntu, so you can use this following command if you want to use specific version of GitLab runner, okay. So, I don't want that. So, that's why I'm going to skip this commands, okay. Now, after that, this command to check GitLab runner version. So if you want to check the details of about our GitLab runner, then you can run this command sudo gitlab runner hyphen hyphen version. So you can see the details version, git revision, git branch version, build, OS, OGR, and so on. Okay. So that's the details of about our GitLab runner that we have successfully installed on this Ubuntu. So, okay. Then after that, if you want to check the status of your GitLab runner, it's running or not, then you can also check this using the command sudo GitLab runner status and you can see GitLab runner service is now running. That means it's done. Okay. 
then it's done so we have successfully installed gitlab runner now it's time to move third step so the third step is we need to grant sudo permission to gitlab runner okay so how so after you install gitlab runner you will see gitlab runner using this user in this slash home directory okay so we need to grant this sudo permission to our gitlab runner so first of all let's inside this home directory and if i run the ls command as you can see there is a two users gitlab runner and ubuntu user okay so as you can see ubuntu user and as well as gitlab runner user okay so we need to give some grant permission to this gitlab runner user okay so how so first of all you need to open this vsudo command sorry vsudo file and in this you need to change some uh, you need to add some lines here here you need to add this gitlab runner all and gitlab runner no password here so here we need to grant this permission to our gitlab runner user so let's save the file and exit okay it's done okay we are successfully grant to sudo permission to our gitlab runners okay it's done now it's time to move fourth step and last step so the last step is here register gitlab runner to gitlab on ubuntu 24.04 lts so first of all we need to log into our gitlab server with this username and password then click on your project and select settings and navigate to settings and click on this ci cd inside ci cd click on expand runner section okay so, so let's go to the gitlab so this is my gitlab account and as you can see this is my gitlab project that i have successfully created to this register uh, to register my gitlab runner okay after that here let's scroll down and as you can see the settings so click on settings and here as you can see the ci cd click on it and then after that here you can see the option runners runners are process that pick up execute ci cd job for gitlab so click on expand and let's scroll down as you can see a project runner so these runners are assigned to this project so as of now there is no any errors oh, sorry no, no any runners here as of now there is no any running uh, sorry running uh, runners right so we need to create new project runner then after that enter a tag so my tag will be sample and it's optional so i am going to skip this keep as it is configuration it's optional if you want to add any description then you can add but it's optional no need to fill this so i'm going to skip this simply enter a tag only okay i'm going to enter a tag with the name sample and click on this create runner after that we will have this page runner created as you can see runner register the platform operating system and so on okay now the first step is copy the, and paste the following command into your command line to register the runner okay so let's copy the commands first of all we need to run this command gitlab runner register on your terminal so it will ask your gitlab instance url for example like this so here is the example you can see https gitlab.com so let's paste here after that it will ask your registration token so here is the registration token okay after that it will ask for name of your runner so my runner name will be sample okay after that enter an executor so you can choose your executor so i am going to choose shell okay as you can see here runner registered successfully feel free to start okay so our runner registered successfully okay so it's optional manually verify the runner is available to big jobs so it's optional if you don't want then you can skip this i'm going to run this okay now after that as you can see now we will have the message you have registered a new runner okay okay right after that when we register a runner then few after few seconds we will have this man message you have registered a new runner now i'm going to click on this view runner okay after 
after getting this message okay so we are a runner is online and ready to run jobs so to view the jobs go to projects CICD settings and runner so click on this view runners as you can see a runner assign project runner and the tag is sample and your runner tag here and the runner id and so on okay if you want to edit so i'm going to edit my runner and you can see the tag and so on. Okay. Right. It's online. Created the opt and in one minute ago. Right. You can see the details. Right. So we have successfully registered our runner. Right. So you yeah, have successfully registered a runner, right? With the name sample. Now, if you want to stop your runner, then you can pause for accepting jobs, right? After that, if you want, then you can resume. Okay. If you want to remove, then you can remove from here, right? So it's done. If you want to remove, so click on simply remove and click on this remove runner. As you can see, you have successfully remove our runner. You can see. So it's done. We have successfully. We have successfully learned this how to install GitLab runner on Ubuntu 24.04 LTS. Okay. So in this, first of all, we have successfully installed GitLab runner. After that, we have successfully uh, grant this GitLab runner user give some permissions right after that we are successfully uh, log into our gitlab uh, account then we are successfully create project and we are successfully register our runner so it's done so in this session we have learned how to install gitlab runner on ubuntu 24.04 lds so thank you for watching and i hope you understand